Greetings Internet and welcome back for another Oxlimations presentation. Now, for today's video, I have a special guest with me today. Meep the Poro. Y'all might remember him from my post Colossal Con video. And if you don't, he remembers you. And look at that cute little face. How could you forget that poor cute little face? How could you forget? <laughs> now Meep, be nice. Now then, on to the subject of today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my childhood friends. Now, this is an item that I personally did not own, but my brother had one of these. And I just loved this thing to death as a kid. For your viewing pleasure today, we have a 1992 Tiger Electronics 2XL. Now, so y'all can get a better look at him. <clears throat> now, the gimmick behind this little guy here is, essentially, he's like a more interactive Teddy Ruxpin that, like, moves around less. <clears throat> With these guys, they're literally basically a cassette tape player. If I can get that open. And what you do is, obviously, as I just showed you, you take one of the cassettes, of which this guy came with seven, you would open up his chest like that, pop the cassette in, close it up, and then this little 4C battery devouring monster, you would push the play button on his chest, like so, and After a couple of seconds, your electronic buddy would come to life. There he is. Thank you very much for turning me on. I am your toy robot, 2XL. And this program is called Fun and Games. It will be my job to provide questions and games. It will be your job to have fun. As usual, please follow my instructions carefully. Only press the buttons I tell you to press, and only after I say the word, now. Before we begin, I would like to know if you are a girl or a boy. If you are... And as he goes on, you interact with him by pushing these little buttons on his crotch here. And you've got your standard yes and no buttons. You've got your true and false. And you've also got answers A, B, and C. And some interesting little things that they added with these is with certain ga uh, games, with certain cassettes like Batman the Sizzling Scheme, there you can interact with it even more. Like in this one, there's a radio broadcast that you're supposed to listen into, or to tune into and listen to, and you actually there, when you hit these buttons, it actually changes the quality of the uh, the sound from the recording. <clears throat> it's a pretty neat little feature. Now, hmm, I hate doing these videos spur of the moment because I never know what to talk about. Yeah, this guy, as stated, came out back in 1992. Originally, there was another version of the uh, this exact little guy here that was called 2XL, just like this guy. Only that one was an 8-track player, and he was made by the company Mego, which are really famous for their world's greatest superhero action figures and their little 8-inch guys. <clears throat> they were also kind of famous for ripping off two major toy companies back in the 70s and 60s. In the 60s, they ripped off G.I. Joe with an action figure called Fighting Yank. Hold on, this is probably boring without music. So they came out with a rip off of G.I. Joe called Fighting Yank. And they came up with a rip off of Stretch Armstrong, the, the little guy from Kenner, with their Oh, what was it? Amigo Elastics toy line. 
Now, where was I going with this? Hmm. Anyways, getting back to 2 here. An interesting little feature, which I think is interesting, is that he actually had a little thing in his back that you could carry cassette tapes in. Unfortunately, though, it only has room for two cassettes, and that's it. So you, you can take three cassettes with you, one inside the chest cavity, and the two in the back. And the voice actually comes out of the top of his head through this speaker grill right here, under his rockin' headphones slash carrying handle. On the side here, if you can see that in the glare, right here is the the knob for turning up and down the audio on this. And of course, being a 90s product, he even has a headphone jack right here. As well as, if you didn't want to buy all those C batteries, he also has an AC adapter jack right there. So since I've still got 14 minutes or so, let's let's play around with him for a little bit. Turn him back on and see what we get. If you are a boy, press B. Please press A or B now. It also gets kind of loud at times. Thank you for answering my question. I now know you are a little boy. Well, it's nice to meet you. I am well, 2XL, your toy robot. But I guess you already knew that. I don't know about little, four I am a boy. One, two, three, four, and five. I would like to play a little game with you. Call name this sound. In this game, okay. I will play sounds for you. And it will be your job to tell me where the sounds come from. As a special treat, if you get all five of these questions correct, I will give you two extra jokes plus a secret as a reward. Let's begin question number one. What is this the sound of? Let's listen. Now, obviously, this was made for little kids, so the questions are extremely if you easy. Ask me. Okay, I'll make this a true or false question. True or false? That was the sound of a drum. Press true or false now. False. That was the sound of a horse. I guess I was right about this being an easy question. False is correct. That was the sound of a horse. Running. Obviously. I now have something very important for you to do. Oh. I need you to remember the code word apples. Yes, apples. remember the code word apples. Alright, everyone at home, Question remember the code word two. apples. Oh. What is this the sound of? Hmm. What could that be the sound of? I wonder. See where we it right? is my duty. Oh no, someone at the door. Go away. I'm in the middle of a program here. Okay, be at the door at this hour. Oh no, I better see who it is. Who is it? I'm who Paul. Be? I'm Zachary. What do you want, Paul and Zachary? Yeah, we have a joke for you. Well, it's hard to turn down a joke. Go ahead, guys. Let's hear your joke. Inside One, my head. Cuckoo clock. Two, workshop. Or three, an alarm clock. Please press. One, two, or three now. Alright, 
number one.
Patreon dog today. Thank you. Which do you like better, McDonald's or pizza? If you McDonald's. like McDonald's better, press one. Pizza, press Why, two. No. Pizza. Press one or two now. It's got to be pizza, obviously. The funky groove. Easy 